my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about how often and when you should be posting on social media you must you must have heard this before you know to post 10 in a day or two in a day or once a week or whatever all these different things are all about how often you should be posting on social media and today I'm actually trying something new this is kind of part of it I'm actually just doing a um whoops if I can click the button here I'm actually doing a live right now on Facebook while I'm doing this episode and I'm actually going to save that and you know use the same usually I do recording and then I upload it but that's because my internet hasn't been that great I'm actually trying right now to do a live and we're going to see how that goes and we're going to talk about how often and when to post on social media but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets hey whoops hold on let's see, fix that yeah so that's the thing so how often should you be posting on social media like right now I'm posting on Facebook I'm just going to finish this you know share to a group thing so we got this right now going on right now you've used this before right where you can actually share to groups and you can tap 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 the groups so I'm going to do that right now I'm actually going to share to a few of the groups that I normally share to so that we can um do that let's do that over here another one let's turn my sound off I don't want to have any sound um and also uh here's another one this one here I also have let's see what else oh yes I know this one there you go and maybe somebody's going to join me live right now we're going to have maybe if you have any questions or something right of course go ahead and ask uh we're going to cover cover things like that and I'm actually just going to go and share this on a few groups I'm probably going to get blocked there you go so I can on this you can only share a certain number of but that's one of the things so posting on social media how often should you be posting on social media is it is it like every day is it you know a few times a day is it a few times just a few times a week is it um you know and when right is it in the morning is it at noon is it in the afternoon is it in the evening how do you know right how do you know these things how do you know when to post how often to post and you know where to post because we talk about there's really three different things right there's there's when do you post how often do you post and where do you post you can depending on whether you're starting out or whether you've been doing this for a long time you might be thinking okay I'm gonna post you know I'm gonna put like when I started right when I started I was posting on Facebook YouTube and I was doing a blog that's it that's all I was doing when I first started I wasn't posting on LinkedIn I wasn't posting on Twitter I wasn't posting on Instagram I wasn't posting on TikTok I wasn't posting on Pinterest I wasn't posting on well did I say TikTok not TikTok didn't exist back then but the thing is that I wasn't posting on Snapchat I wasn't posting on any of those other platforms I was just creating a video like I'm doing now I was uploading that to YouTube I'm still doing that now and I was sharing it on Facebook I'm still doing that now right now I'm actually recording it and sharing it on Facebook a Facebook live actually I should have shared this also on a page let me see uh, if I go back to uh, sharing on a page share this on a page uh, right over there share this on your page and you'll share that to my page right here uh, I don't know how to do that here that's weird it's not letting it's not letting me I'm, anyways I can just share this on the page right here right over here on the page on your page there we go share and okay so anyway so that's the thing so you're where do you share right so first of all you have to decide that what you're going to be doing and you got to keep doing it for a while you can't just say I'm going to share there and then there and then there and then there and then move up and be all over the place so you have to either be in one place or two or three but always right so you got to first figure out how much time do you have like me I have like right now I have an hour maybe maybe two a day max that I can use to do this right and part of it is just being on the phone 
you know uh, at breaks or right at lunch right now during lunch I do the recording I upload it and I do those kinds of things right and that's part of it right that's part of uh the, the the your schedule how much time do you have so if you only have 15 minutes a day well you won't be able to post multiple places you gotta you gotta decide what you're going to be doing in that 15 minutes and I I gotta tell you if you're trying to build a brand you're trying to build a, a personal brand you're trying to attract people to you and you're trying to sell a course or sell a product or anything like that you need to be having people getting to know you they need to get to know you because that's the only way they're ever going to buy from you and they're ever going to trust you and all that right you you know all that I'm sure you've heard of that that tons of that sorry tons of times and that's the most important thing so if you only have 15 minutes a day well maybe all you do is a, is something every other day and you do something different on different days based on what you have to do now um we're not talking right now we're not going to talk about um uh, you know daily methods of operation and what you do and you know how you create your content and then you type it up and then you create an image and then you create a video and then you upload it and then you do this I mean these are all sorts of different things that you have to learn how to do but we're talking right now about just you know how often one of the things uh, I'm actually going to show you here let me just go back to my screen here I'm actually going to show you here uh I actually use a tool uh called let's just go back here it's called start a new there's a couple tools right buffer buffer buffer.com buffer look at that I'm just going to log in here and then I'll share share the screen now if you're if you're listening to the audio obviously you can't see this but I'll tell you what I'm seeing what I'm showing you if I go back to share my screen here um yeah so buffer is basically I haven't filled it in a bit but buffer is basically a, a platform that lets you uh, add things to it so let's say for example I want to uh, schedule a post here I'm going to go and I'm going to find an image I got quotes in here something images is that in here I should probably have no that's not it I should have done this but oh there they are right here so I got quote images let's say I do this one right and this image uh it says uh, it's a Gary V image I'm not gonna do I'm just gonna say go and crush it so this is just an example right so I'm I'm posting something that I'm gonna schedule a post and I'm gonna just do this and it's gonna be added to my my feed right my my automated stuff um so then what happens is you can also go into your analytics you can actually go and tell uh where is it where is it where is it settings link google analytics shuffle right now it's empty so there's only one thing I thought there was something in here oh posting schedule there you go okay so in here uh you can actually uh, no it's not this tool yeah I should have prepared a little bit more this is one of my problems that I don't prepare ahead of time I don't spend the extra time to prepare and make sure that I know all the links all the places to go to all the all the all the uh, but I think maybe the one I'm thinking about is only wire this is another tool I use onlywire.com uh, let's just go take a look only wire uh, log in using Facebook <laughs> I usually do just Facebook with the wire this one here has a Q network so I forget there's a place where you can actually tell you know how that's interesting that this is there but how uh when to post it's not in this one it's got to be buffer it's got to be buffer there's a it would tell you when it was a good time to post anyways the point is that there's tools out there <laughs> I'm so sorry uh I feel like a you know I'm wasting your time but I'm just going to tell you there's tools out there that let you figure out when is a good time to uh post you know when is it is it is it at 9 a.m is it at noon is it at at 4 is it at 5 p.m different times during the day are better and it's based on your audience I mean you can't just decide when well I mean okay so so there's two things first you gotta maybe decide that what is better for you right what is better for you um and I'm just trying to see if I can 
I should be able to see who is watching oh resolution too high eh? well why don't you reduce it I see okay it says max resolution anyways I'm just looking at the video uh thing here I'm gonna go back to Facebook and I'm just gonna look at something here uh what I was saying is that you can decide first of all you have to decide when to post based on your schedule right if you can't post you can't post in the middle of your work day you you gotta you gotta you could use automation for some of that but it's not always a good idea to use automation there's um there's uh, things that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about when to post right when to post if you can use automation then that's great here uh what I was saying is that you can decide first of all you have to decide when to post based on your schedule right if you can't post you can't post in the middle of your work day you you gotta you gotta so all right you could use automation for some of that it's not always a good idea to use automation there's a audience based on your schedule and there's things that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about when to post right when to post if you can use automation then that's great you're gonna see that people are gonna see here uh what I was saying is that you can decide so first of all you have to decide your stuff when to post you based on your schedule right if you can't post you, make sure that you can't is, post in the middle of your work day great, you, you gotta so you gotta so all right you, you can know, use automation so for some yes, of that it's not always a good idea to use automation based there's a um, audience so based on your schedule and there's uh, things that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about when to post right when to post if you can use automation then that's great the people are going to see here what i was saying is that you can Decide. Decide. First of all, you have to decide when to post based on your schedule, right? If you can't post, make sure that you can't post in the middle of your work day. You, you, you gotta, you gotta. So, now, you can use automation for some of that. It's not always a good idea to use automation. There's an uh, audience based on your schedule. There's uh, things that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about when to post, right? When to post, if you can use automation, then that's great. The people are gonna see here. What I was saying is that you can. I'm 
see what your school looks like. share the screen we got it right now okay so when you're inside of an app like uh, TikTok for example in TikTok if I go up here at the very top of those three little dots I go to my analytics you see the analytics right there I go to analytics and that will let me see the uh, followers and the profile access and the profile views right if I look at my content it will show me if I look at this one for example show me when and there's a user active it's actually in the whole followers there it is so this is showing me right there this part here is showing me when they're most active right so as you can see if I was to post something in the middle of the night there would be less likelihood of people seeing it when I post it now there's always the concept of the platform itself sharing your content and the fact that people comment on it and you view it and it shows that kind of makes a difference right in terms of in terms of whether they the, the the content is good and whether it matters that you post in the morning versus in the afternoon but as you can see most of my most of my viewers are pretty active during this whole period here right from from say 11 a.m or so maybe noon until almost midnight 11 right so during that time is when they're the most active so I could be posting at those times or I could be posting at the beginning of this time like around noon and then that might be better right but at the same time is it really better does it really matter does it really make a difference in terms of whether you should be sharing that content you know during that um those times it's really it's really like I said it's it's more of a trial and error thing right you try things see what works better if you want to be precise in your post specific then that's great and I think that's probably a good idea uh, I'm not like that because I just I just can't it just seems like I can't find the the time to be organized perfectly and everything and so that's why I'm a little bit of a you know how can I put it uh, a little bit of a those times the winger I wing things right and uh, I I do want to improve that and that's one of the things I'm working on and this this week actually I was imp I well I am improving that I did kind of do some preparation not enough as you saw in this episode where I didn't know exactly where the tools were and I, I still don't and that's the thing so you gotta get to uh you gotta you gotta organize and get better just like me I gotta get better and that's what happens over time but when how often you post when you post and which platforms these are all dependent on your schedule but be consistent choose something and be consistent all right hope this helps and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time choose something